guys. Marcus Rounder here with Louisiana Gridiron Football, Grid Guides, and the guy for the day would be the high low read on the cornerback. Today, um, the, the high low read on the cornerback, one of my favorite concepts as a player and as a coach on calling is the smash concept. And we're talking about high low read. Today, we're going to key read the cornerback. And we got mirror routes set up, so we, we have the same concept on both sides. All right. So as a cornerback, when I get a pre-snap read, I'm looking at both sides of the field, I'm looking at the safeties, I'm trying to pick out which side I feel best by how the defense is lined up on where I want to work this high-low read concept. Um, let's go with the left side here, all right? It's a triangle set up here, but we know we're key reading the uh, cornerback on the outside. We've got a hitch route and a corner route going right over, over top of his head here, all right? Quarterback's going to get the snap after taking that pre-snap read, knowing he's going to read to the left side. He's going to take the snap, take his three-step drop, as the play develops, he's going to have his eyes on the cornerback, reading to see if he's low. We know that we're going to be working this high corner route back right over his head. If this guy drops, as we're taking our three-step drops and we see he's getting high, then we automatically know once we get to the top of our drop that we want to be working down low to the um, hitch route that will be sitting out here in the flat area right okay. here. Okay, now that we've talked about the concept, what the quarterback's looking for, inside of this concept in high low in the cornerback. Let's just talk about the little things right now that's going to get this play to be wide open and and not just a little open, counting on the quarterback just to have to make a, a dynamite throw here. And it's going to start with the route running. Most route running concepts are worn in the first five yards of the route. Whether this guy is pressing him or whether he's playing off, he needs to have this kind of in his mind made up how he's going to get to the top of this route here and how he's going to stay on line. These guys are getting coached up too. So, in all the football I know, most coordinators on the defensive side do not want their defenders uh, uh, allowing these guys to just get clean releases to put pressure on their safeties as fast. So these guys will try to get out here and put their hands on you. It would be very pivotal for you to stay on track or if you get knocked on track to get back on track. Let me tell you why and what's going to happen. If we allow this guy to come over and put his hands on us and knock us off track and we never get back on track, we kind of hurting this high-low read because now the, the space in here or what we're looking to put the cornerback in the bind is thrown off because now I'm I'm so close to the outside route that now that that timing at the at the top of this route may not be and the brakes up top may not be where we want them to be. So even if this happens and he gets his hands on us, he's getting coached up, we getting coached up. Instead of staying out of here, I got to work to get back on on my track before I get to the top of this route here because now I'm trying to put pressure on the next guy which is the safety. And also I'm trying to save my quarterback all of this space to make this throw and to throw me open. I'm allowed a quarterback to throw me open here. So once I can get back on track and get to the top of my route, secondly, I want to make sure that I take a high release and not bend in this short because that's going to lower that high low window that we're looking for right here. I want to take a high release and allow this quarterback to be able to all of this space to pull me back down where I need to be that's going to make this play work effectively like we're looking for it to work. Okay, now that we've talked about the high-low read, which the quarterback's making after he's picked aside from his pre-snap read, um, but now let's just talk about the empty, the uh, F-post part of this. If we see our safeties, so after we run this play and we've hit them a couple of times inside of the play, these safeties are, are going to start getting out of there, trying to get on top of those routes just a little bit faster. And that's why we have the F post built in that's going to attack the middle of the field here. That's going to kind of slow these safeties down and stop them from getting on top of our, our corner routes out here in the smash, in the smash route concept. So if we catch them there, our quarterback already understands that once those safeties start getting wide, he knows that he has something built in that's going to attack this middle of the field also, right down the middle with this F post. And that'll be another one. If those safeties getting out of there, that'll be a great throw for, for the quarterback to hit right in the middle of the field. And we'll be looking at a big game or a touchdown. Okay, now that we talked about the smash route 
And we're still talking about high low on the cornerback. The second concept that I love to run versus um, when we're trying to high low uh, cornerback on both sides is the is the go and out. I call it double out. People have different terminology for what they call this concept. Right here, we're gonna call it double out. Again, mirror routes on both sides. Quarterback is pretty much taking his pre-snap read, looking at the safety, looking at the corners, making his best decision on which side he wants to work here. Again, we'll start off working the um, left side just because we're over there. Our key read is going to be the, is going to be the cornerback on this side, and we're going to have that that high low that high low read on him. As you see, just like the smash concept, we are looking at putting a guy in this top area and also down here in the flats. All right, so we're going to look at X and T here. We're going to look at the, if the cornerback decides he's playing quarters uh, or some kind of man concept here where he's running with this go route, our quarterback is going to answer the note that we're going to be working the, um, the flat area down here where our T, our guy that's running the quick out, has all of this space down low to be able to work this one-on-one -on -one matchup with, with he and the wheel linebacker right here. Once the quarterback catches the ball, if he realizes that this cornerback is not playing a cover four concept or a man concept that he's playing a you me here with the safety or he's playing a true cover two where he's protecting the flat area down here, once he has his eyes in here on this number two receiver and he breaks and he breaks low, the cornerback the responsibility is to is to cover the low route in this concept. So again, if we're high low in the cornerback here at the quarterback, once this cornerback comes off and breaks for the low route, we have the right throw that we want to make away from this safety in this whole area that we're looking for right here. All right, now let's go back and we're going to talk about these wide receivers and how they can make this play work and be way more efficient with the way how their route running is going to be and the things that they're going to do to make this play happen as well as what the quarterback is going to be doing. All right, again, we're going to talk about those first five yards. What should we be thinking about, where we should be going, and we're going to talk about the, the chess match that's going to happen in between these first five yards that's going to get this play wide open for us. All right, first of all, um, I'm just going to talk about T. If this guy playing a, a little bit inside of us, because most linebackers do not want you to cross their face, and whether they're playing man or zone. So my first step when I come off the line, if this guy's playing me inside, I do not want to push right up the field on him because, again, he's going to be looking to collision me at some point inside that five yards right here. And, again, like we talked about in the smash concept, I don't want to get pushed off of my line here and be underneath already um, my, my other re receiver over here. We're looking for the space. So when I come off, I'm going to go at him. I want to go at him on my release, then straighten up. So now, if he comes over and puts his hands on me, all he do is, all he's going to be doing is putting me back on track where I would like to be anyway. Okay. So um, my first step would be at him, attack up the field, get to the top of my route, save him all of my space for my quarterback. Because if this cornerback goes high, he should be thinking throw low. I have to win here and get this separation and win the route here, so I can better catch this ball out in the flats. All right, let's move on to the X receiver out on the outside. It is important for this guy in his first five yards, whether this guy is pressing or he's off, I want to attack him and I want to take an outside release here, getting him to either turn his head and run with me so we can save the space here, or I can want to be able to take his eyes away from the inside guy here um, on my release. So I want an outside release. And again, if this cornerback comes up, another reason why I want to take an outside release um, I want to stay away from this safety, saving this space for my quarterback to throw me the ball over in the hole versus inside release and being closer to the safety, which will make this play easier for this safety to make. All right, now that we have this key read on the cornerback here, we high low. He cannot make a right decision because if he's high, we're going to throw low. If he's low, we're going to throw high. That's the key read in here. That's the high low. All right? If they happen to play this well or we or our route running is not the best where we can make the throw, we always have the safety valve coming out the backfield with the F angle. The F is going to be running the angle. And he's basically going to be isolated on this Mike linebacker here, getting him to over-pursue on the 
on the first part of the angle route, making it look like he's going to the flats, and we'll be able to work back to the middle and be able to get this guy over, and we'll hit him in the middle. And again, that'll be a big game, if not a touchdown, split in the middle of the field.